Hello, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create foot rig in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. Select the armature and switch to edit mode. Select the right foot and root bones. Press H key to hide in the viewport. Switch to pose mode. In the same way, hide the bones in pose mode. Go back to edit mode and press numpad 3 to switch to side view. Firstly, let's create the leg in verse kinematics. Select the ankle joint, hit the E key, then Y key to extrude the bone on the Y axis. Select the bone, press Alt P and clear parent. So, we can move the bone independently from the bone chain. Press F2 and rename the bone as foot underscore IK dot L. Click on the bone properties tab and disable the deform option. Switch to pose mode. Firstly, select the foot IK bone, hold down shift and select the shin bone. Press shift I and add inverse kinematics constraint to the shin bone. Click on the bone constraint tab. We can see that IK constraint has been added. Select the IK bone, hit the G key and move around. As you can see, all the bones are affected by the IK bone. Set the chain length to 2. So only the shin and thigh bones will be affected by the IK bone. Another problem is that the leg doesn't bend in the right direction. It's because there is no angle between the shin and thigh bones. They are almost straight. In this case, we can go to edit mode and move the knee joint to forward on the Y axis little bit. Go back to pose mode and grab the IK bone. There we go. Press Ctrl Z to undo back. Or select the shin bone, click on the bone properties tab, go to inverse kinematic section and enable the limit X axis option. Set the minimum angle value to negative 180 and set the maximum value to zero. There we go. Let's add pull target bone for the knee. Switch to edit mode. Select the knee joint, hit the E key, then Y key to extrude. Select the bone, press Alt P and clear the parent. Press G key, then Y key to move the bone on the Y axis. Press F2 and rename the bone as knee underscore target dot L. Switch to pose mode. Select the shin bone and click on the bone constraint tab. Choose the pole target as armature and choose the bone as knee target. We need to set up the pole angle value. Set the pole angle value to 90 degrees. Now we can control the knee direction with the pole target bone. But when we move the IK bone up enough, it causes bending problem again. To fix this problem, hit the A key to select all bones, press Alt-G to clear the pose. Switch to edit mode. Select the pole target bone, hold down shift and select the IK bone. Press Ctrl P and keep offset. Switch to pose mode again. There we go. All right. Let's create the foot rig. We want the foot to roll on the tip of toe and on the heel. Also, we want the foot to bend in the toe joint. As you can see, these bones are deformation bones. Firstly, we will create the bones that will control these deformation bones. Switch to edit mode. Select the toe and foot bones. Press Shift D to duplicate the bones and right click to leave them. Hit the M key and move the bones to the second layer. Click on the armature properties tab and switch to layer two. We can only display the controller bones now. With these bones are selected, press Alt P to clear parent. So they won't have parent-child relationship anymore. Select the foot bone, press F2 and rename the bones as ankle underscore controller dot L. Select the toe bone and rename the bone as foot underscore controller dot L. Press control numpad seven to switch to bottom view. With the foot controller is selected, press Shift-D to duplicate the bone. Switch the transform orientation to normal. Move the bone on the Y axis. The head of the bone should place to the heel. So this point will be pivot point for the heel. 
Rename the bone as heel underscore controller dot L. Select the tail of the bone and bring the tail to about here. Click on the bone properties tab, select the bones one by one and disable the deform options. Because these bones won't deform the mesh. Switch the transform orientation to global again. We want the foot to have the pivot points in the tip of toe and in the toe joint. So we need to switch the bones direction. Select the foot and ankle controller bones. Right click and switch direction. Select the ankle controller, press N key to open the right panel. Change the roll value so that the local X axis is aligned with the global X axis. We want the ankle control bone to rotate when we rotate the heel control bone. To do this, select the ankle controller firstly, hold down shift and select the heel controller. Press control P and keep offset. We also want the all controller bones to rotate when we rotate the foot controller. Select the heel controller firstly, then select the foot controller. Press Ctrl P and keep offset. Switch to pose mode. Select the heel controller, hit the R key to rotate. Select the foot controller and rotate. There we go. Switch to edit mode. Click on the armature properties tab, hold down shift and enable the first bone layer. Now we're gonna connect the IK bone to the ankle controller bone. Select the IK bone firstly, press shift key and select the ankle controller. Press control P and keep offset. Switch to pose mode. As you can see, we can control the IK chain with this bone now. We will create two more IK bones to connect to deformation bones. Let's hide the deformation bones. Switch to edit mode. Select the heel and ankle controllers. Press Shift D to duplicate and right click to leave them. Select the duplicated bone, right click and switch the direction. Roll the bones so that align with the other bone. In order to see through the bones, go to Viewport Shading menu and enable the X-ray option. Set the X-ray value all the way up to 1. Decrease the bone length value in the right panel. Rename the bone as ankle underscore IK dot L. Let's select the other duplicated bone. Decrease the bone length. Rename the bone as heel underscore IK dot L. Select the ankle IK bone, then select the ankle controller bone. Press Ctrl P and keep offset. In the same way, select the heel IK bone, then select the heel controller bone. Press Ctrl P and keep offset. Let's switch to pose mode. Unhide the deformation bones. Select the ankle IK bone, hold down shift and select the foot deformation bone. Press shift I to add IK constraint to the active bone. Click on the bone constraint tab and set the chain length to 1. Also enable the rotation option. In the same way, select the heel IK bone, then select the toe deformation bone. Press shift I to add IK constraint to the active bone. Set the chain length to 1 and enable the rotation option. Let's hide the layer 1 and select the IK bones. Press SEM key and move the bones to layer 1. Alright, we can control the foot with these three control bones now. Let's select the foot control bone, hit the G key and move the bone. We can control the leg IK chain with this bone. Hit the R key, then double X key. So, we can rotate the tip of toe on the local X axis. Select the ankle controller bone. Hit the R key, then double X key. So, we can bend the foot at the toe joint. Select the heel controller and try to rotate. As you can see, the leg is bending in the wrong direction. It's because of the pole target bone. Switch to edit mode. Unhide the other layer. Select the pole target bone, press Alt P and clear parent. We're gonna make the foot controller bone parent to the pole target. Select the pole target, hold down shift, and select the foot controller. Press Ctrl P and keep offset. Switch back to pose mode. Select the heel controller and try to rotate. That's it. There is another problem. The foot is not rotating exactly around the heel. It's because the heel vertices influenced by the shin bone. We will learn weight painting in the next parts. But let's just fix this problem. Switch to Object Mode. 
Firstly, select the armature, hold down shift, and select the shoes. Switch to weight paint mode. Hold down control key and select the shin bone. Set the weight value to zero. Enable the X symmetry option, so we can paint weights for the right foot also. Press F key to scale up the brush a little bit. Hold down left mouse and start painting. As you can see, the heel has become blue. It means the shin bone will have no influence on the heel vertices and it won't deform the vertices anymore. Set the weight value to 0.2. Paint the yellow areas and decrease the weights. Finally, go to Weights menu and make smooth the weights. Switch back to Object mode. Select the armature and switch to Pose mode. Select the heel controller and rotate the bone. There we go. The foot is rotating properly around the heel point now. All right, it's time to make symmetrize the foot rig to the right side. Press Alt H to unhide the right foot bones in pose mode. Switch to edit mode. Press Alt H to unhide the bones in the edit mode. Select the foot controller bone, then select the root bone, press Ctrl P and keep offset. Let's select the all right side bones with box selection. Hit the X key and delete the bones. Hit the A key to select all left bones except the root bone. Go to Armature menu and make symmetrize. Switch to Pose mode and try to foot rig. Select the hip bone and move down. As you can see, the feet don't pass through the ground. The rig works properly. In the next part, we'll learn how to rig the eyes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.